Even y'all, welcome to Lost and Found Podcast. We're going to wait till 7 o'clock and then we're going to fully start the podcast. Hey, y'all, hey, hey, what's in show? Good evening, y'all. Good evening. Make sure y'all share this live because you know every Thursday we go live at seven o'clock. Secretly now. Welcome, welcome, y'all. Welcome. Y'all look a little sign, y'all. Look at me like a little sign. It's cute. It's cute. I got my sign in my prayer room, but I just put it right there. Why is it not telling me? Okay, y'all. It's seven o'clock. Welcome to Lost and Found Podcast, and today's co-host is Abby Addison, y'all, who we've been waiting on to get on here, y'all. Y'all know this up tonight, and we really gonna be digging into it. So, tell, tell them who you is, tell them what you do. Hey, y'all, my name is Abby Addison. Um, I have a podcast called Ambassador for Christ, like the Christian content as well, like this. Period. Yeah. That's on you? Um. Let's start to get on that act stupid and that we're not doing this. We're just not doing it. Well, I, um, I sing for the Lord. Yeah, I'm say for the Lord. That's your ministry, y'all. That's a ministry. Yeah, for the and um, I love Jesus. So, how? See, we ain't doing this tonight. How are you feeling? How you feeling, Jesus? Um, can y'all, wait, can y'all hear us? Yeah, can y'all hear? Because I forgot I didn't get my uh, earbuds. Right there in that church right there. Y'all come on, let me make sure y'all can hear us because we, we got some good stuff to talk about. Yeah. Well not that we in my purse and you see my keys in there and it's in the pouch my um thing on there. Yeah, and it's in there. Yeah. Y'all, we got to make sure y'all hear us because what we finna talk about, we finna go deep, finna get deep. I can't talk about Hmm. You got to put an air fire in your ear. Oh, okay. Can y'all hear us? Oh, TikTok and hair, so that's fine. I just be concerned about Facebook because you know Facebook be. Okay, so yeah, how did you find Jesus? Because last time I seen you, I saw you in the streets, girl. I saw you at the little bonfires and you know, in the streets. Years later, How does it feel being young and a Christian? Like, do you get tempted to go back? Do you reminisce? Mm-hmm. 
you know, I just try to take those moments of looking at it like that's what God brought me from. Mm -hmm. So no, like even though it did look fun, it looked like freedom and not saying it wasn't fun, but that wasn't the life that God had for me. Yeah, you know, you couldn't make it out to be more living your life like that. Girl, it be them Saturday nights for me. Them Saturday nights. I don't even be on Snapchat like that no more. I don't really be on no social media like that no more. I just get on there and post. But it be them Saturday nights looking at everybody's snaps. And I be like. But y'all, when I say I cannot. I cannot do none of that stuff no more. I can't drink no more. I can't do none of that stuff. That stuff just not in me to do no more at all. I don't have the capacity. I get sick. To even smell somebody drinking alcohol around me. So, yeah. I can like a little song from like socially but like getting drunk the call I used to I can't do that like I feel like spiritually but I know I can't go over to that side where like I would get all drunk and food like, I can sit down and have a couple drinks so I'll be fine and be good but not like drunk you know what I'm saying and yeah. yeah with me it's hard I can't do it it's either me doing it or not doing it at all because when I drink now like I feel like the enemy torment with my mind so much when I'm drinking soon as I drink a sip, I'm being tormented and I'm going through like spiritual warfare and like all of those things. So it's like, I really try to stay away from drinking. That's all your people on him. I really try to stay away from drinking and I really try to stay away from all of that stuff because I know like, like mentally, if I was to strip away God and my spiritual side, mentally, I'd probably be shattered. Right. I would be so lost. I wouldn't know how to maneuver through life. I'll be... 10 times way worse than what I was when I was in the streets. Mm -hmm. And that's how it always be when you get saved and when you, like, give God your yes and you follow God. Like, when you turn back, that sin that you was doing before, you never felt the sin. But when you go back, oh, my God. Yeah. You might as well put yourself in the psych ward. They say, she said you're not clear. Can y'all hear her now? Yeah. Hold on. Y'all can hear us, right? Y'all can hear her. Just want to make sure. But yeah. Um, people, when they in a journey with Jesus, like certain things that you might struggle with, that I might struggle with. Personal convictions. Okay, they said that they can have both of y'all, but your grandma still saying she can't hear you. Maybe not with her phone. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, they said that Facebook said they they can't they can't hear you either. Take your AirPod out. Let's take them out. No, because I just made it. Can y'all hear her now? Can y'all hear now? Take your Can y'all hear her now? I can hear Monet McFadden and not Andy. Okay, they say that they can say that. So we good without the beat. We're not going to use the. I'm not seeing all over here. What what y'all what y'all heard, baby? <laughs> My word for it. But oh, personal convictions, yeah. Like it it affects me in that way, but it it probably don't affect her in that way, and that's totally fine. So that's why I truly believe, like, if you don't connect with somebody, you cannot correct with somebody, and that's my biggest saying throughout this whole journey. When I first got delivered from all of my sins and all of that, like I reach out to certain people, or I reach a certain audience that is for me, but I can't go to another audience that's completely out my, mm -hmm. out my reach because that's like just because we all in ministry, we all you know speak on God's word and all of that doesn't mean that we all reach the same audience. Like somebody, the older generation, they can't go to a strip club and try to get them to go to church. Cause it's just not going to work like that. They're going to be like, Brandy, get out of here. Yeah. But if we was to go and be in an environment like that, all we have to do is go in there and our presence itself would say, this person is not in an environment that they should be in or that they used to be in. This person is somebody from God. This person got Jesus in them. And you don't have to say, oh, I'm a full-blown Christian. Or you don't have to say who you are in Christ because it'll speak for itself. No, I want to speak for yourself. It, yeah, it does. Like you, your presence. When you walk into a room, people should automatically just sense the presence of God with you because God is within you, so He know you when you. But they know when you step in, like they know. Thank y'all, y'all. Hey y'all, and people know. And I feel like you know, coming like you know, y'all, y'all don't really know. She's from the same area, from the same hood, you know. So it's like coming from that type of life. 
all of the backlash, all of the people that, you know, try to get you to um, believe certain stuff and think certain stuff that, you know, God is not real and this and that third, baby. I knew God was real and I knew Jesus was real, but the devil is deceiving. Mm -hmm. Stay deceived if you want to stay deceived. Stay, they stay sleep if you want to stay sleep. Because I'm telling you, but you say awake for sleep. And listen, right when I was asleep, God came knocking on my door, just like that scripture. He came knocking on my door, and I showed it open it because a lot of people don't understand. I didn't when people minister when people testify. It's not them speaking, but it's the Holy Spirit speaking. It's God in them that's speaking. So we're not just out here just because we study something and we learn this and that and third. People always be like, you got that, um, we need to go on with that God, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, if the, if God was dead, trust and believe, we would have been the turn back. No, we would have been the turn back. If we wasn't that far. If we wasn't but we were sure if there was no God, there was no us. So people exactly. are saying that, like, if there was no God, there would be, be no you. So, yeah. Exactly. Like, God, God literally, like, I don't think people understand the capacity when I say the life that I was living I did not want to give up. I didn't give that up because, oh, I don't, I don't want to be gay no more and I don't want to do this. Yo, the still whoop when he whoop. I didn't understand the capacity of all of that stuff. And that's the thing. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. Just because you don't know doesn't mean it's not right. Just because you don't, just because you I'm feel. Now. I'm on now. Just because you feel. Just because you feel that, oh, I don't think God is like that. It's not like that. Okay, you keep thinking that. But the problem is, like I said the other day, y'all worship the creation and not the creator because y'all like prosperity. Y'all like the feel good. Y'all like temporary feelings. But then y'all get so mad. Or y'all be so down depressed. Or why the world got to be like this? Why life got to be hard? But look at the life that you feed on the enemy. You're not feeding God that because God specifically tell you how to live your life. That book, that Bible. It's principality needs to live by. It, you have free will to live by that. It's not uh, God give us freedom and he gives us free will. So it's our choice if we want to turn back to him. So you can't expect prosperity without getting conviction. You can't expect blessings without getting corrections. Like, it just don't work like that. God's not a genie. And God does not uh, the Bible and snap your finger and click your heel three times or whatever y'all feel like y'all can do to get God to move and do things that happen to us in our life. Like, blessings and good things that happen to us in our life, it just comes from God, not because of what we can do, it's because... What is that? Oh, it's not because of what we can do, you read it. But it's not because of what we can do. What statement? Can you clear that statement? Which statement? What, is... what she said or I said? Which one? I don't know. Y'all can put it in the comments because, you know, I love it. I love to talk. But, but, yeah, like, you know, honestly, like I said, the good thing that we get in our life and the blessing that comes to us, whether you believe in God or not, it's not because of things that you do or things that we say that, that make it happen. God is good to us because he's good. Right. That's, that's why he's good to that's us. Good. That's why you see the wicked and the unrighteous still being yeah, blessed. blessed. Not because of us, because of God. That's why you see people that do secular music, they have gifts and talents. Not because of them, God gave them the, God gave them the gifts, not for the world, but honestly to give glory and honor back to God. Yes, so it's just like, don't think that you have all these businesses and you have all these things outside of God that you're being successful by yourself. God is just bracing you to do that because all that's love, he wants you to turn back to him because he can triple, quadruple, double all the things. And make it last and make it more, you know? And he can choose to take that from you. Just like God did, he can take He can. Right away from you. So how you down to get you to turn back to him? To turn back to him. It's crazy to say that, because I'm going to tell y'all, like, I remember twice, two, three times in my life, I had the same thing happen to me. My car went down, and I lost my job. I mean, different seasons of my life. And I never could understand why it was happening. But then I understood it. It was happening because God wanted me to, I only turned back to him, but guess what? I kept saving up money, finding ways, I even getting new cars, but I, I missed the whole purpose. I'm, I'm I kept missing that. You missed the I kept whole purpose. It. Like, that was me. Like, y'all know my first business. I was, y'all saw me working my butt off. Like, I was a hustler, and I'm still an entrepreneur. Like, I still work really hard, but my focus was to be the first millionaire. My focus was to be this and that and third. And, I, yeah, idolization, bro, I promise you. God took away gifts come without repentance, but his gifts can be taken just like this grace. Exactly. But yeah, I was idolizing money. I was idolizing 
the success. I was idolizing everything. And you know, at the end of the day, just like the people say, when they go on war, I thank God. Because I did thank God. But was I living for God in that moment? No, because God said, you can either choose money or me. You can't choose both. You have to pick one. And I was choosing both, to be honest. But money was up here. And still to this day, I'm going through the same thing. It said you can love you you can love one and hate the other. So if you love money, if you love money, it's technically saying you hate God. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna either love one or the other. And in all actuality, like if you love God and you serve him, he'll give you everything, the money and more. So that money I'm is sure God because he's gonna make sure he provides the way he is, Job over Job. We say yeah. that song all the time. Job revive. We didn't think the people. Channel more, I don't know the people. Yeah. You stay that song, right. but we know that's actually another name of God, Jehovah Jireh. That means God is our provider, the Lord provides. So it's like, it's a, we stay in these things and we call God name, but do we really know what we're saying and what we're saying? Oh, that's that's something we can get on right there. Yeah, we know. You can talk. I know it. You know, we about to go. Tell me, baby. I'm like, girl, you on it. The Holy Spirit in it. We about to say, say it. That second one is God. <laughs> That's, the, that's the Holy Spirit right there. And see, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, y'all don't think the spirit is real. Mm -hmm. I felt that. I was like, I feel it. Yeah. Like, I, I can tell where the conversation was going. Mm -hmm. But like I was saying, idolize. Like, we don't realize. We idolize certain stuff. Love. Love is lust, really. Lust. We idolize lust. Lust is roaming around, rapping in this world. We all chase love. We all want to be married. We all want to be in a relationship. But God is saying, I am your first love. If you don't love me, you don't love nobody else because you don't know who love is because God is love. Love is God. And I feel like God intentionally gave us, I feel like intentionally, how can I say it right? But, um, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like God intentionally left that void of feeling want to, feeling wanting, of feeling wanting to be loved. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because think about it. A lot of times in life, a lot of people we struggle and we feel I'm not loved. You don't have attention. And like you feel like you're not being seen. And you feel kind of like the black sheep. All these are terminology that the devil used to make us feel like we outside and we outcast because God I feel like God placed that void in us so only he can feel it. Like y'all know how a puzzle be yeah. He the only piece that can fit that. Yeah, we, we going through the maze trying to find him. Mm -hmm. So we going through He's different relationships. We going through abuse. We going through different Drugs, jobs. Money. Trying to find out. We run through that stuff. Like, think about it. If you get more and money, it it more, like, you can get more money, more problems. Problem. That's real. Because so of that money. Girl, you got Girl, it's the dog. Uh, preacher. Girl, you got it. You got it. You got it. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. Girl, we, we, we be ready to go, y'all. Yeah, girl. This is like a phone conversation for us. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. It really be like a phone conversation. Y'all can say how y'all want to be Christian and slam y'all. We can have fun. We have fun. Right on this water. Right on this water. But yeah. Just just really pay attention to what you idolize. Mm -hmm. And I always feel like I don't think I idolize nothing. And that's another thing. When I was, you know, dating girls and all that that was one big item one big lustful item worshiping thing because we y'all see a lot of cute couples y'all be like oh my god he loves each other so much when in reality they got a bad emotional connection and they can't go with one one without the other they can't live and they can't breathe without the other i was saying that would just be with like gay people or same sex or how you want to call it lgbtq a, B, C, D. I don't know all the terminology, so don't come for me, don't cancel me. But um, I feel like that comes with people that actually like, I would say it's female and male yeah, too. It's like, you know, it's everywhere. everywhere, you know? And we just got to like, turn back to the our rightful owner, which is God. Like, go back to the person that created us. Go back to the person that knows us, that loves us, and wants the best for us. Like, that's all he wants. Like, you can have a boyfriend, you can have a girlfriend, and this really loves you, but guess what? That love is going so far. God love people for like, you know what I'm saying? And that's the main thing. And you got to think about it. They only love you for what you do for them, which is giving them time, <laughs> attention, giving them the, you know what, when you want it. And <laughs> but take away all of that, go through some real, real problems. And that's why relationships don't last. Because when they go through real problems, when God's supposed to come in and mend that relationship, y'all don't do that because y'all don't know to do that. Or y'all feel like y'all can work it out yourself. When a relationship and a marriage is supposed to be, based off of God. The, the solid foundation is supposed to be God. So that's why a lot of people don't work out when they get handed problems and stuff. They just don't know which route to go to that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But um, let's dive just to the deep, 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 deep conversation. Mm -hmm. You know about that? Ain't deep. Look, look, they think that ain't deep. They think that was deep. No, that wasn't deep. Yeah. We can go a little deeper. That ain't deep. But no, we finna go to like deep person. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's fine. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I'm always. I've been waiting on it. It just hit my mind to talk about it, but I was was waiting to you brought it up. Yeah, so how can I introduce the conversation? How can I introduce it? Having a whole conversation. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So Ali told me that she had a dream, y'all. When I went live that day talking about that prophetic message, I went live. Ali called me and she had a dream that connected to my dream, and we was had a good conversation talking for hours. But we started talking about something. Talking about how the enemy. And like trying to um <clears throat> comparison comparison yeah comparison, and like, just all of this all of the spirits around comparison because you got to think comparison comes from a place of envy mm -hmm. comes from a place of hurt mm -hmm. um jealousy rejection all the different all of the stuff yeah and so that's how well it was with her i didn't know that mm -hmm. but go ahead and take a five like i've been real with her and i told her like for years that y'all no, we're from the same area. We go from Hollywood, South Carolina, born and raised, second grade road. That's me. Period. Second grade. But uh, them boy, them boy, them like they ain't no way. We actually not in Hollywood right now. But anywho, um, yeah, we just had conversation. I just honestly felt the need to open up to her. And for years, I was always she always did like lashes makeup and hair and all the stuff and i was doing makeup at the time too so people used to always come to me and be on something like trying to make us compete with each other and and like that. that was never like nothing that ever happened between us but it started to plant those seeds into my heart and eventually but like, i honestly i would be like looking at her work looking at her stuff that she did and i honestly used to be like jealous of it and comparing myself to her stuff and, and for years like I felt that way, like, like I would say, what if we say undercover, like, not the undercover beat, but undercover, like, jealousy, I'm going to be real about it, we're going to keep it on it. And I used to, like, look at her and be like, dang, like, she pretty, she this, not knowing my mama them telling me, oh, you know that family. I didn't know me and her was related. You know what I'm saying? Like, we never grew up with each other. I ain't never seen nothing that took out. You know, like, right. we, we all family, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we had a real conversation, and when I told it to her, she was like, what? Me? Like, she was in shock about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, she was in shock. I was throwing off. I was quiet. For yeah. Time. And I, and that's when we had this conversation. And it came about how the devil can always, like, when she started doing, um, no, when she started, like, posting about the Lord. And I knew what the gift that God put in me about starting my podcast, Ambassador for Christ. Make sure you guys tune in. Yeah. Like, put us stuff in the yeah. And get off. Like, I never started my, my thing. I literally was hesitant about doing my ministry because I was looking at her ministry and I'm like, well, dang. And I didn't even know that part. I didn't, she didn't even know it until I can real with her. You know, that's the problem with people. They don't want to be real. So I told her straight up, like, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I felt this. I felt like that. And I felt like, dang, God. She thought like, this deep. I had it clicked up. Yeah, I told y'all this. This is not like, real. This and was I was like, dang, God. Like, first she was doing the makeup and the stuff. Man, I was doing makeup. Now she want to do the God thing. And I was angry on the low. But guess what? God dealt with me. He humbled me. Like, seriously. God had to deal with me about, like, comparison. Not just her. But I would look at other closer. I would look at other people. And I used to be like, man, they doing this, they doing that. And compare myself. So it would put me to a point where I was chasing a dream of trying to be better than her. I was about to say, because at that point, it wasn't even about me. And it was mm -hmm. about her. God was trying to see where your heart was at. Yeah. Like, if you really trying to minister my word are you trying to like get people or get likes and get followers but no it was for my own glory and my own stuff and that wasn't yeah. going to go so once god was able to work within my heart that's why i was able to be real to tell her about it now because in that season of my life i could have never said that to her because it would have came off as hatred and drama but like you know what i feel like you copying me you man listen there's so many people out here that doing the same thing but everybody was gifted and anointed with a gift from god you can have 10,000 pass out in the same city and all the boys can make money and live good. Because guess what? God has certain people for certain people. Like, your ministry is what you do is your business. And my ministry, ministry is my business. So at the end of the day, like, why am I looking at my sister in Christ, which is actually my cousin, and like jealous of her and looking at her in a like, uh, honestly, an ungodly way because God said jealousy, envy, like all the different things that we harbor in our heart, we hold those things. That is 
not of God. Exactly. So God had to make it work on me about that. And I told my sister, and we can all go through real things like that. I'm going to tell, say it again, Alice, so many people are doing the same thing. Yes. So it, I'm going to speak on that before I get into this. So many people are doing the same thing. Why? Because let me tell you this. God gives a heap of people the same idea, and he's going to see who's going to react first, mm -hmm. who's going to act first, and who's going to do it out of place of his love, his will, and his calling. Yeah. But just because somebody is doing the same thing, like doing the same thing, exactly. we didn't focus on podcast. Yeah. That doesn't mean nothing. Like, her audience and what we, what we really right now, what we really do right now, the devil is mad right now. Yeah, he don't like, the devil, is, and I promise you, I promise you, that by the end of this week, oh, well, the week is over already over. But I promise you, by the end of this week, the devil is going to try to torment with our mind so much because we're doing something that mm -hmm. the devil did not want us to do. Yeah, and but we got to be always prayed up and always yeah. just be on, be on guard and always keeping the word of God from the by the tongue because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I would like to add to that, he also comes to divide and separate. Amen. So it's like, he wants to always separate people. He does not like unity. He don't like it. So listen, the thing about it, y'all don't hear the term, we are the body of Christ. The body is together. Like, our whole ligaments on our body are hard together. But he wants to separate the arms from the body. He wants to separate the legs from the body. So this, this over here, that over there. No, we are all supposed to be together. Everybody that's watching on here, y'all are part of us. This ain't Girl, right that's right. she want to fight us. Oh, I love you. The real question is, uh, what what really hurt you? What really got you looking away from God, or what really hurt you? Because that's the real question. Yeah, and you're like that from like what really hurt you? It's like you know, at the end of the day, when we know the God that we serve, we know who we are, whose we are. We good. Like nothing can stop and nothing can come against it because God already put a heavy protection over this, over you, over me, over everybody, all His children. Before we even start doing anything, the gifts that God placed within us has already been established and set in stone. Nobody can stop that. Like your gift for ministry for hair, I can't do it. I'm not, I can't. I, I have this a little bit, y'all. You might need to leave. But I can't. And I show, I show can't sing. I can't, I can't break on hair. That ain't me. I can't be brave good enough to do a little quick sewing of me. But to be like publicly, like how she really can brave and do the stuff, like, no, nah, I can't do that. That ain't my ministry. And the whole time while she, you know, felt that way about me. For one, I never knew because the crazy part is, I always felt like an outcast. So I created a table for myself. That's why I didn't see nobody around me because I already know they were rejecting me anyway because I was always different. I was always set apart. So I created my own table. And with me doing hair, that was strictly from God. Like I didn't, one day I just woke up and I started doing hair, trying to so I fall out the sky, literally from the sky from God. And it's like, I didn't know certain people was envious of me. And still to this day, like, Still to this day, I didn't know. A lot of people would be secretly inspired by me because they didn't want to give me the records. Record, what was that? Re recognition. Girl, recognition. 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 Lord, that was they didn't want to give me the recognition or whatever. And that's that's fine. Like, it's okay. But but you never know when you, by you keeping silent on like wanting to tell somebody else about the gift that they have, the people that really have the gifts really gonna be confident in the gifts. Right. Like they don't really be boastful about it. You know what I'm saying? So by you saying, you got how you can do hair real good or oh, you got a good business, that actually could be something that could free somebody from feeling certain type of ways within themselves because a lot of times, like me, people say, Oh, you're saying I'm gonna do it, but it ain't nothing. I'm like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like it's not something that's so I mean, oh yeah, I can better than big don't say. No, yeah. the gift is for me. That's mine and God gave it to me. Nobody can sound like me. Nobody can do it like me. That's me. Mm -hmm. And I can, like, me personally, I can be in the midst of other females, and they can be talking about, you know, they do hair and all that. They will never know I do hair unless somebody tell them that I do hair. Because unless they ask for something, I don't feel the need to tell that because my audience is my audience. And what's for me will be for me because I know hair is my ministry. God bless me with the gift of doing hair. God bless me with that. I know for a fact that there will be nothing to take that away. I don't care if the person next to me trying to put something on me. I know my God will always provide for me no matter what. And I would say this, like, I don't remember somebody said someone, the opposite that God would take the gift away. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't believe God would take the gift away. I don't think so. I feel like if God gave you a gift, it'll just be... He can see it for you. Yeah, like, you can use it, but it's like, I don't think he'll fully take it away. But, like, if you're not using it, it just not being exercised. You know what I'm saying? But once you go back to it, I don't know, that's how I feel it. I feel like he can take the 
take away. Like, you know how you say that song you talking about you didn't have, you couldn't sing like that? Like, you were singing, mm-hmm. but you felt like your voice was being attacked? Mm-hmm. That could be, even though, well, I feel like he allowed me to get into like, so yeah. yeah. So that, I feel like, so he's feeling like, like God taking it away. Like, completely. He allowed, like, like Joe, he allowed for That's the devil. devil to torment Job and doing the things to Job, but I don't feel like God take it away. I feel like God would just allow for him to do what he do because the whole intent and purpose is what to do. Run back to God. Amen. That's it. Really always hit the pieces. But yeah, like I was saying, I didn't know she was feeling those ways. Honestly, I think I used to watch her live and all of that. Mm-hmm. You the family girl. I used to watch them and share them and support it and all of that. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, talk about the camera, my cousin. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I used to... I- I didn't know she felt that way about me so much. She told me that I was so shocked, and I was trying to think about like what was I doing, you yeah. know? Nothing, and honestly, it's nothing that you did. Nothing you said. We had conversations. All oh, remember we did. I did the got the lashes from you. Remember when I did the lashes and you had the one, one of the girls. Remember I got all the lashes and you had asked me to take the pictures. Oh yeah, yeah. because you had to promote my business. Mm-hmm. I promote my business. Y'all listen, did all that, and even though I, it's like half of me was willing, but all the other half was jealous. But I still was trying to like you know. But that's how it goes. Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. Your biggest hate is to be in your face all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, that's where I'm gonna say, like we, 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 we don't want to see the nature. We don't want to see because it's like God, why me? Why I can't be there? But it's because the your passion and y'all chase the wrong thing. Like mm-hmm. you, you never. Know, but when God moves that stuff out your heart, I can sit here now with you, right? With your anybody, you know. Cause I'm not jealous. Cause I get, I, I'm confident to know that's how you are. Well, God has for Ali is back. I mean, God got for Monet for Monet, and vice versa for whoever. Like, I can't never be um whatever. Like, something that ain't my gift. Like a hairstylist. That's not my thing. Like, right. that's not my gift, and that's something that I don't have a passion and desire for. I don't. I can honestly say, like, I, I. I've never been jealous towards somebody else because I always know, like, you never know what that person is going through behind closed doors. You never know what that person is is just had to do to get that in the first place. You never know if the enemy could have get that person there. So I wouldn't want what somebody else has. But I would be, I think I would be jealous with myself. Like, just looking at, like, why I'm not to the highest capacity. Yeah. Why I'm not to my highest capacity that I know I can go. Like, what am I doing wrong? So I can't get what what I want, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I don't think that, and if I was jealous of somebody else, it was probably like a celebrity, somebody that you I'm be right. I used to be jealous of people, people that I ain't never told people about jealous. We have had a conversation. I'm like, girl, you know, I had to stay in used to be. Because I'm talking about me in the world, I never bite my tongue. And clearly, God can't be screwed up like this. It used to be just like that for the world. I need you to be just as real mm-hmm. for the kingdom. Like, don't be lying, be transparent, be real. That's what people want to see. People don't want to come to your house and see it looking like a picture's photo. They want to see you got a little girl. Money got a little dish in the thing over there. Got a little dish. Don't tell you. It's a dish. I put it in there. Oh. <laughs> but like, you know, she got a little dish in the thing. But you want to see the real life. You don't want people to be all make it up and perfect. Like, no, that's not what like yeah, it is. Always authentic. I'm not perfect. I'm not. I was from state. I'm always authentic. Uh, Put no mints over there. See what I'm saying? That's so dead. But see where you get the mints from? I have a cabinet back there. Exactly. Hold up, cabinet. I'm going to start that oil with the hard hair people. Hold up, man. See, man, I will you. Yeah. Because when I was sick, y'all, I be sucking on the mints and putting them in my water. But, y'all, what I do, I mean, what's all about? I say, it's not happening. We don't play so much. What was I about to say? But, yeah, we can. We we can all do the same thing. Like, I truly, truly, we all do the same thing. That's how we connect. Like, we all, mm-hmm. like, everybody that we talk to now, we all do the same thing. We all got podcasts. We all got a merch website, whatever the case may be. And we all going to support. We all going to wear the same things. We all going to, like, support each other no matter what. But think about this, though. Like, if we all were gifted with the same thing, how can we help each other with it? Like, if we all do the same exact thing. Like, if I need my hair done, and I know how to do hair. I can't never support you to come to you for you to, get, to pay you to do my hair to put money in your pocket so you can pay your bills. Mm-hmm. You can, I feel like that's how life is. Like, if I need an electrician to come to my house, I, I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to pay somebody else. And that money that I use to put food on his insurance table. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
that's this gift. That's why God gives us money. Your money ain't really for you. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that? Your money yeah. ain't for you, now. That money ain't really for you. It's God is giving us give. money to give to other people. It's better to give than receive. That's why mm -hmm. some things go. You're giving it to somebody at the end of the day. So you trying to stash that money for yourself is putting you in a poverty mindset. That's that's a poverty spirit. And I had to realize that myself too. Like when I used to um like saving money, that that's not poverty. But like actually being stingy with your money, mm -hmm. that's a poverty mindset because money's supposed to flow, come and go. But when you allow it to stay, how can more come in? That's like you see a homeless person on the side of the street. And they actually for you got two dollars or a dollar. If I got that, I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna yeah. it. Now my stomach is up. If I feel like they up the stomach, and the Holy Spirit like, nah, don't even entertain, entertain that because you gotta have to be careful because the weird people are here. Yeah. But if I genuinely feel like they need a dollar too long, I really, I really would give it to them because I feel like if you say it's better to give them to receive, and also like the Bible does speak about that we entertain angels on the way that like, it should be an angel. And we don't know it, and God is testing our heart to see our heart posture exactly. because if He can trust you with the little, He'll trust you with the plenty. Exactly. So, y'all stop being stingy with people. If your cousin call you, your mother, somebody call you, hey, I need to borrow $100 for a flight, and you got $400 in your bank account, you can't trust God not to give that person $100, and God will multiply that and give you $1,000 back. It's, boy, the way God works, like, that's how I work for them blessings, boy. And, y'all, sometimes you can be down to your last. And I promise you, I'll be down to my last in my checkers account. But as long as my tired account got money in it, I'm going to get it. I can have zero dollars. Why? Because I know God's going to give me some more money. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the come and go. Like, I'm really so adamant and strong-headed about paying tithes. But what's it before? Oh, my God. I used to tell my mama, like, bro, why do I have to pay tithes? Why are you to these people? Like, we give it to the people. We're really giving it to God. So, like, Whatever they do with it, I'll stop. After we give it to them, that's between them and God. But our heart is giving it to mm -hmm. God. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always worry about what other people doing and all of that. Y'all worry about the wrong stuff. That right there should let you know your heart is not posture right. You're mm -hmm. not in the giving spirit. You don't want to give. Because mm -hmm. I was stingy. I was selfish. My family was bad. I was stingy. Ooh, girl, I was real bad. I didn't even want to share no food. So, what about my dad? I was just stingy. Y'all no food. You know, I, you know what I'm saying? I was stingy. I thought they was just clever. Yeah, man. Me and Mama, I remember about time. This for real. Girl, I remember that conversation like it was yesterday, y'all. I can look back on my past and see where the spirit was like influencing my thoughts and influencing my speaking and all of that. Because I remember, yo, I walked in the room one day and my mama was like, she said something. Me and my mom was talking about something, and I started talking back to this girl I was talking to. And she was like, because she was like, you still have relationships like that? And I'm like. I was like, oh, you get fit, you get serious. Oh, instantly. I like that flesh. Boy, I'm looking at, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> we we laughing, y'all. But be honest with you, it's embarrassing and shameful, boy. How <laughs> bad we was. That don't make no sense, boy. No, they just saying, oh, I'm going to be ready for a little bit. 20 minutes, not a car for Because you act, this girl with a chocolate and come geeky and act like she forgets. Yeah, you know what I She act like she forgets she from second in row. Yeah. Look at me talking off country now. It's coming out. You saw. But I told I said, um, what did that have to do with me loving God? I'm gonna be gay till God changes. I didn't say this. I didn't even say until God changes. I don't think you told me that you didn't say till God changes. You said I'm gonna be gay. That you got the lifestyle or something you say you say. That, that's what I said on one of the video. But I think I still said something similar like that. Because I didn't know the knowledge. Like, y'all always knew being gay was a sin. It's in the Bible. All, like, we all see the sins in the Bible. And we use our thoughts to change God's word, but God's word remains. Like when He said, "No, mm -hmm. He the same yesterday, today, and forevermore." It's not going to change. Mm -hmm. And so we try to change God instead of changing mm -hmm. allowing God, God to change about us. That girl, that thing came to my mind about the same. Who took it out? Mm -hmm. The word is meant to fuck the change for us to change. The word meant to change us. Oh, yeah, that's the problem. We were trying to read and pick. Show me what we want the Bible to talk about. Yo, I didn't believe fully in the Bible. Like, I don't believe in certain parts that didn't convict me. Like, like you feel good. no one's performing against me, she'll prosper, and you know. But, but the Bible the Bible said, you know, that yeah. scripture went right past me. And, <laughs> <laughs> the Bible said, I can do all of it. Amen. Break the door, you come. What do you say? Like, ain't that what? I can't think about that. I, I still feel like we're drinking. Like, you know, you said that. Like, it's a sin. I don't know. Not on. I feel like you get drunk, and you. But like, I, I feel like 
like not all whole weekend, but like Wednesday, like a Friday. I just talk to drinks with my girl, you know, sitting there chit chat, talk, laugh it up. And that's just like what I do. But like I say, if all per perfect conviction, like me, smoking weed is a sin. But that's what I feel about that. That's what God has dealt with me. me. But to I know I know people that I mean, I hit a little bit. I wasn't no one throwing her or nothing. But you know, like, some, it's, 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 God be within your heart. Whatever, like, they say cloud of judgment. Whatever that can. It is a personal conviction, but sin is sin. It is, point for, by for period. So, and I think a lot, why I say that, though, because I think a lot of people be like, okay, well, because he convicted you from it, doesn't mean it's sin. Yeah, it's it, still it, a sin. It's still a sin. He, he just didn't convict you. Yeah, and, and like you said, yeah. Yeah, until I feel like, Convicted, convicted to where like I feel like God I feel like marriage. Yeah, I'm very stern on that right now, y'all. Like, and then you know, yeah, she had came to me about it one time, and you know, and we did. Very, we get deep. She yeah, like, and I, I knew it was a sin and all of that, but God didn't convict me from that yet. But that was just the first stage of the conviction. Mm -hmm. So later on down the line, I cut it out because now I don't even have the urge to do it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. And I'm standing firm on that. Like, I have the urge to do it. I got the urge to want to have sex, but I choose to not let my flesh overcome my spirit. I, I don't think, because I don't think about, girl, the way I used to know. I don't know. with niggas. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Yeah, you're right. Because I was gay. Yeah, yeah, she was gay. And I'm, I told you, me, I'm not going to let you know. I, know. I know, so I, I mean, I have been with girls before. But I'm like, I'm not even thinking yeah, like, real, real. I have. I mean, I'm not mama knows, so I can talk about it. I like my day my granny. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's facts. Like I have. I, you know what a stud? Oh, there we go. What is? I don't know the. See, I don't know the terminology. What's a stud? Now, you know what a stud is. Yeah. Well, it could be somebody that's like a boy. Big chop up to the nigga for a thousand. That's how I say you talking about. But yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it ain't. We were talking about it all time. But anyway, um, I you, you know being young, trying to experience life, trying to. You know, figure out what I want. Okay. That wasn't for me. Hmm. It was for me. That yeah, was for me. It was for me. Uh, I had nothing for my granny watching. I can't say what I want to say. When that thing, I like to feel, period. But see, I, I never did, I mean, I did a little bit, but I never did none of that. I never, I never liked, liked penetration. So, that's it. Wait, keep it real. We, this is a real life lost and found. Uh, Literally, you talk about the law, player. This is the law. This is the law. Hmm. I'm still, oh Lord. Did y'all talk about that? Ain't hey, that's pretty something. Yeah, because the law is trying to come back. Lord is the devil's trying to come back. But no, so, I, um, I, I don't know. But the females. Yeah, so I don't think, think about sex because that was. Never like something that was big for you. Yeah, and like I said, I'm not going back to girls, and I don't want to and I'm not thinking about that. So, no, <laughs> no, we about to run all of them. We were about to get too real for the first time. Now maybe about in the second episode we come together and we do something again, we might get real. real but that's when we have to be podcast after dog after twelve a.m. We might have to get on the Leap channel because you know what channel is not. Hey, the dog. Run on, you can't watch that. <laughs> you can't watch that. Granny's going to be precious. Y'all listen, my granny always had called me precious. That's a little name? No, that's the name she did because she talked me in the crib about her little precious. And y'all will come for me on TikTok talking about me like real precious. I don't care nothing about it. <laughs> no, I'm saying before the time. Let me tell y'all something. When that woman come out, it was so bad that that nigga. So every time I hear it now, I think about that during movie. Good morning. It's some cases. <laughs> y'all, we got one point five likes on um, TikTok. Thank y'all for the Shut And we got um, a bunch of gifts. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. But, um, oh, the juice. I can have no gifts on the side. I'm sure we all. We can't have no gifts. Gifts. Oh, you want to put that? I'm going to be mad. You got to have a certain number. Morning, I'm going to. <laughs> no, let Monique and my, I can tell you, they say my house is cold. Girl, it's hot as we are. I had to turn it off, y'all, because, see, now you feel it, I feel it right down my leg. And this knee was like, <laughs> you know what, I my leg, it's my knee down. Y'all, you go to, you 
But yeah, like, you be honest real about stuff, man. Like, that's why I feel like a lot of, like, I hate to say it. And I'm going to have a champagne toast at my own thing, but the I, older, I, the older I, church, I hate to say it, I love my elderly. I feel like a lot of times they instilled in us to, to, be, to the best of their ability things that we are now again are, how can I say, God revealing to us in a deeper way. Like, I, I love, for example, um, sex before marriage. I was just always told, no sex before marriage, you go to hell. But if I was explaining the spiritual depth behind it, yeah. why you should not have sex before marriage? It's going to make you not want to have sex. I not want to have sex. I would wait till God bring me, you know I say? God bring me my husband. That God tell me is my husband, not me picking no man because I was him. God got to give you your person. And, and I would have waited. We're going to have to do a video for that too. I would have waited. Like, seriously. Like, half the people that I had had sex with, like, man, I would have never even allowed them to touch me. I'm literally disgusted. They probably disgusted by looking at me, but that's why I'm getting out about it. Okay? I would have never, ever, ever, ever done it. Because it comes, you realize you have all these, like, emotional roller coasters. Yes. You be I'm still out of conspiracy. You don't swap. You, ooh, wow, I'm spit all over the girl. You don't swap back with somebody. Yeah, like you be fighting the same friends, like you fighting uh, demons, you ain't even have to because you don't sit there and you just allow yourself to have sex with somebody and you don't know what people got in their spirit. That's why when you meet people, you might feel off about them, but I'm still messing with them. But then I realize, dang, boy, I feel like this and I feel like that now. Now I'm upset and I'm angry. I'm, 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 I'm praising certain things that I never wanted before. It's because now what has been in that person had transferred to me. Believe it or they don't, don't think that y'all can stop that. Do not think that y'all can stop. Mm. Or uh, you know what happens? Birds of a feather flock together. Now you should be like, no, they don't. But the thing about it, just because your personality is not like this person, because me and Addie probably got different personalities. But our character is still the same. Yeah, character is the same. So, so y'all gotta understand the difference between personality and character. Character is mm -hmm. on the inside with the heart. At. Personality is on the outside. You're not gonna see somebody's heart unless you go to God first. So, I feel like that. That I was saying back to when older people like they should have like. I feel like if, they, if I could have, if we could have run one time back, they should have been more real with us in the church. Like these conversations right here was never had in the church. Exactly. We couldn't talk about them. We couldn't even chew gum. They would come around and spit that out. Dang, my church don't care. Yeah, I love my church. Yeah, I love church. The majority church and still get the same friends of the Lord. Like I'm get at a holy little Pentecostal. Hallelujah, shine it on. The same. Yeah, I love it. But at the same time, it's just like, man. That's a good question. So I said, how do you know who your husband is? You gotta seek the kingdom you gotta first. About that, bro. God will, first of all, you gotta see who God is and his character. Yeah. God is not about to give you no offense. God is not about to give you somebody you. off the streets that just got back from a lick. That is not your husband. My can't say that though. They can turn. If y'all actively seek, if y'all act actively seeking God together, then maybe God will give yeah. y'all grace and work that out in y'all favor. But you won't know until you seek God. So God will give you nobody else on God ain't gonna give you nobody else's man, nobody else's wife. God is not gonna give you somebody else. Yeah, God ain't gonna give nobody else's situation now. You gotta seek God and know God for yourself. Y'all be so deluded trying to make stuff work, knowing this person got somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all think I found my girlfriend, I think I found my husband. Yeah, you know, I think I found my who it is. You know, such and such. Okay, you know, they would get No, 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 this would be, this would be, this would be. Yep. You know, if he did, but they stay together. They just they together, together, but they just co parent They just come on, man, but they still need to be together. They married. That 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 man, that's that girl husband. God don't give anybody else to talk, man. Also, I would say this too, like when you read the Bible, um, I, I don't know, I think it was one of Ephesians, like Galatians, in New Testament somewhere. I don't know, but the Bible speaks about how the man is supposed to love his wife at the church, and he speaks about how a man is supposed to be towards the woman, how he's supposed to love the woman, how he's supposed to be the head of the household, how the woman is supposed to submit to the like man. Saying, that's 2 Timothy. Um, yeah, that is something. 2 Timothy, how, like women and men, we have roles in relationships. So I would tell you, 1 Timothy, to read the Bible, read God's Second word, chapter. and look at the characteristics of a man of God. Look at the character of God. Look at how that person talks about God, how they love God, their relationship with God. That person should be willing to give you up for God. Right. If they ain't willing to give me up for God, I don't want you. Because that man gotta love me more than God. I mean, love God more than me. That man gotta be willing to do the will of God and be for God. Like, that's what he gotta do. He gotta be that. If he ain't that, I don't want him. 
That's why I say, like, now I'm gay, and people might say, oh, that's how, you're not going to find no man because you're so picky. You will. I won't find a man, but God will find a man for me. God got my perfect man designed for me somewhere, and we're going to meet each other at the right time. And I'm going to say, like, pray about it and fast discern, yeah, discern the voice of the Holy Spirit. He'll let you know what's right, what's wrong. He'll let you know the spirit is, oh, God, or if it's a woman she clothed, and he will let you know. And he I promise you, like, even if you just be sober-minded, like, be sober-minded and literally focus on God, just do it for a month. I mean, I want you to do it for the rest of your life, but even if you just do it for a month, God will show you so much of things to the point you ain't even going to want to um, get out that thing. Mm -hmm. And don't try, don't seek counsel. I would say don't seek counsel to the worldly people. Seek it with godly people. Um, and, you know, ask the right questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask that man questions. Like, yeah, ask them. Yeah, like, I, I need to the spirit. Know who you're dealing with because men, the enemy will deceive us women. When and I say this, and I just ran at y'all, it's first, I'm not even read that chapter. It's first Timothy, second chapter. Yeah. Yeah, I read all, all of that to you. Because Eve, Eve, Eve didn't, Adam, didn't, um, Adam wasn't deceived. Eve was deceived. And that's what made Adam, the apple. Because we are the piece of us. We be easy. <laughs> we be dumb for real. Stop thinking that oh y'all y'all want to act like a nigga. Y'all got control of this and that. And then they y'all really don't. God strategically made us to not be like that. So y'all not like that. Yeah, you're not. But I'm not even saying that before we close out live because I got to do somebody hell. Amen. Amen. I want some bread if you stay. That's what I want. You know what I'm saying? Um. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it would be great. I, I think you should do another podcast on um day in. Like I said, how it is to be day in and a Christian and the real mm -hmm. the real life of Christian. Because I think people think we just saw black. No, we're not. Just because we saw don't mean that that flesh still don't stir sometimes. I would just say I'm soft, still stirring and strong, and the love still working on me. You're not cold. I feel great. I don't got comfortable. I was more of the same phone. And y'all feel good, okay? I used to love it, yeah, but I can't do it now. I feel like I've been getting my real, real nice with this. Um, I thank you for having me on here. Of course, because it was nice. Um, we gonna get Monique pot. Um, Monique, we gonna we, we gotta set a date so we can make a video for you. I'm gonna sit down. I took this into for your charges. I need to come over here or whatever so we can sit down and laugh. Come on, you had me rolling. If I used being you still have me that much. So I say your sister is funny, like, and I like your personality. And I'm really proud of you for getting on that outside your comfort zone because you did great. I had love the whole podcast. You did good. Yeah. And I want you to keep, keep going with your podcast. Like, don't stop. Yeah, girl. Like, the, what wrong with them, Lord? I said the podcast. I know I'm not talking about that. You know how she go. But, so, you know, I have I have to say you this, like, I want you to keep going with your walk with Jesus and keep doing stuff that you're doing. And don't let people or anybody discourage you and stop you from walking with your calling. Because you're doing it. You're doing a great job. Um, what she said about that, boy? My personality is Lame. And that's why I so funny. That's why I love it. That's because you. She think it's funny. I love it. Be you. I love that you're your soft girl. But like, for real, like, um, don't let people like stop you. Don't let people people say and people talk about or whatever. Never keep talking and just keep going for you. From you to come from a new age spirituality. Remember we talked about it and I was like, I saw you doing it. I was like, Lord, I'm praying for her because something just seemed a little off with this. But honestly, I'm glad. And it showed me that prayer worked. You know what I'm saying? I used to pray for you. I used to be like, man, let me pray for some stuff. I ain't know if it's right. And when she threw out the stage and we talked, I was like, oh, I can't pray. Because, you know, like, I just need to say for it, right? But everybody got their own walk. It does some good little pictures that they still have stage in your house. And, that's, and that is a, a part of their journey they get, have to come to to realize that by you being and walking your college, doing your ministry, and sharing how you were able to be a part of that, and now you, God calls you out of that to show you different. Like, you can go so far with that and with this. And we might be sitting in your apartment now doing this. And it's nice. But God can elevate all of this. And you can have the whole studio building just for your podcast and your hair and all the stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very proud of you. I'm happy for you. And just keep going. Just keep going. And I, I love you.
And then it's the same thing, you know I'm proud of you, girl. Yeah, like, keep going, man. You know I'm proud of you. After I had to get up now, I was like, girl, this line was good, bro. I had to mm-hmm. rewatch it, but this thing was good. Yeah, it was. Especially when you, uh, you be talking to authority. You can feel the power in this Who? You? I do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Y